सो हे गाइज एंड व्हाट्सअप एंड वेलकम बैक टू अनदर कोडिंग कम सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट ट्यूटोरियल एंड इफ यू कैन कॉल दिस अ सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट ट्यूटोरियल इट्स मोर लाइक अ कोडिंग ट्यूटोरियल एंड एक्चुअली द आइडिया ऑफ बिल्डिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर बिल्ड ऑफ अ सर्च एम्यूलेटर और अ सर्च इनपुट वेर यू पुट अप समथिंग ऑन द सर्च बार एंड इट एक्चुअली मैचेज अप ऑल द रिजल्ट and just show you just show it directly on your screen so this idea actually came up to me after i attended a competition by uh, one of my favorite react native uh, developer currently working on youtube known as vadim savin and uh, actually i participated in one of his competitions last week and uh, a matter of fact is that i got disqualified and for this particular problem actually i was unable to build a, a, a search bar for from where actually i came up to an idea of this video and personally speaking i don't want you guys to be again failing like me or anything let's just cut that thing short and let's get into the whole topic so today we are building a uh, app or anything you would say where we will be having an array of data coming up from some random sources from where we will be actually searching through the data for something on the basis of their first name actually we will be actually search uh, we will be searching a keyword a particular keyword which will be being put on a search bar and we will be going through all the data on their first names and finding out if the put uh, the input that we have given into the search bar is that present inside the word somewhere and the challenge is that it can be anywhere inside that first name and another thing it is not case sensitive so if uh, if you put it on caps or smalls it doesn't matter actually so what we are having currently so let me just introduce to you some tools that we will be using first of all we are using react js for this so you need to get uh, a react app from where i have actually deleted certain files from the sources and we are uh, just left with the app.css app.js index.css and index.js and uh, we are also having uh, some data that is coming up from the mockaroo website let me just show it to you here is the website actually here from we can actually download some mock data and just use it for our builds and then we are using the bootstrap for our styling of the website so that just it doesn't look shitty that's it and our website is not something cool looking website so it doesn't matter actually and then uh, you can find the whole source code here which will i will be uploading uh, along with the video the link will be in the description for all these websites and that's it and let's just see what we are having we are just having this uh, uh, search bar but uh, we are not yet throwing up some data so let's just keep it aside for now and let's just see what we are currently having over here so we have got inside the app.js we have just uh, cleared up everything and just put up an engine the engine is coming up from the components here uh, from this component and we have also got a mock data and we have uh, just downloaded the json file from the you know, mocker website and we are just importing it here so let me just show you what we are actually receiving from the website so what we will do we will just uh, cons let uh, me have the time we will be having a console dot log and we will be having the mock data from here and let's just see what we are actually getting from here let me just increase its size a bit and uh, here you go we are having the all the data from here uh, from 0 to 199 that's the actually the case so here you go actually we are having this data 
over here. So the question comes up, how do we track it? So for that, we will uh, first need a hook, which is known as the use state hook for actually keeping the track of what we are actually uh, inputting there inside uh, that uh, input bar. So how do we use the use uh, state hook? We will actually need the variable first. We need to create the variable first. So we will actually use the search term and we will be using a set search term. And uh, for the beginning, we will be keeping it as a empty string. So now, how do we actually change it? So for that, we need an on change function over here. And there we actually pass out an event for, from which it will actually set the search term to event dot target dot uh, value actually. And that's it. That will actually uh, change the uh, state dynamically and also uh, to keep a track of the value so that it uh, actually updates on the front end. We will actually have a value for the input as well. Uh, there we will keep uh, the search term as the value. So here you go. We are having the search term. So now how do uh, actually we are actually having the mock data. Okay. So we now need to map through the mock data and find it out. But there is a little bit of catch here. We will be actually filtering out all the data that is actually matching with it. And if there is nothing, the whole uh, uh, here, the search term is actually empty. That is at this state, it will actually be printing out the whole thing. So that's a basic idea behind the um, whole concept here. So let's just try to do that. We are having the mock data from here. Okay, just a minute. I have gone mad. So, okay, we are having the mock data and we will be actually filtering out it on some or the other basis. So for each, we will be having a particular uh, result or a data, or you may say an item anything you can uh, it's just a name you give as it is a it is just a callback function so we will be taking the help of an uh, returning so we are uh, checking some conditions over here we will check if the search term currently if it is empty or you might say if the search term is null or anything of that sort or undefined you might, uh, might say you might put up such conditions here as well uh, on a project and uh, then uh, what we do if actually it is null then what we do we actually return that item so that we get all the items but if the case is different and uh, actually this is not the case so we actually check uh, or actually return actually what do we return here we actually return those items that contains that search term okay so how do we get that search term we actually go, uh, go to the item and we convert it to the lowercase or you might say we actually convert it uh, first uh, to the string items that particular first name or the last name Actually, we are uh, going through the first name. Okay, so we take the first name and then what do we do? We actually check it to the lowercase. Okay, so we, conver we are converting it here to the lowercase. Then what we do uh, from the lowercase, we actually ch check that if it includes. So we can actually say includes, but includes what? It uh, does it include the search term in the in its lower case. So we actually put the search term, but to what case to a lower case because both should be uh, to lower case as uh, we are not doing something that is case sensitive. So we must do that actually here. So that's what uh, we are getting back. And then 
from that method we can actually map it out in the map uh, here i will get only actually item and uh, from the item i will be returning it into the form of paragraph and uh, we need a key and that will be the item dot id actually and i will be printing out the first name followed by a small gap and then the last name so let's see how to do that we will be putting it up like this something item dot uh, first name and then we go for a small gap here yeah. and finally we actually throw up the last name as well item dot last name actually so uh, that's it that we actually throw up maybe uh, to the front end and yeah that's it so let's see how uh, does it even work and if not we will debug it live here so let's see i will be typing something like ni and uh, you will see all the uh, events with ni and another question is that does uh, this result change if we uh, change the casing of it and the pure and the sure shot answer is no why will it change actually because it's not case sensitive so this is actually the search bar that i was talking about that uh, this is really simple uh, if you are using the uh, filter method and also along with the map method so this is it simply this is it for doing a search uh, bar or it might be complicated uh, in certain cases like where you are having uh, a large amount of data pulling up from uh, random api but you will also be having uh, certain indexes there so yeah you can manage it in that as a way as well so this was it this was the video that uh, that i was talking about and this was the search bar uh, so if you have liked the uh, video and uh, have understood the concept uh, make sure to hit the like button and uh, also there is a subscribe button below there please subscribe it and uh, if you make something more advanced uh, make sure to tag me on the instagram the hand instagram handle will be given below in the description as well my uh, github uh, repo will also be there in the description so you can check it out if you have any problem so this was it from my side on this topic hope you have enjoyed the video and i will see you next time